Megan McLean, a senior on the Penn State women's golf squad, joins us from her home in New Jersey. And Megan, I know it was a completely abrupt end to the season, but where were you guys when you found out the news and how did you guys handle it? Well, we just got back from a very successful trip in Gainesville. Uh, we came in fourth, and so we were all extremely excited to get back on the road again. We were actually, when we found out the news, we were about to leave for North Carolina. Um, so we were very sad to hear that, especially coming off of such a strong tournament in Gainesville. Uh, but we were all so shocked. We did not see any of this coming. You know, we were thinking maybe um, Briars Creek, our tournament in Charleston, would have gone canceled, but not our entire season. Um, again, it was sad to find out all this news within three hours. I mean, first it was the cancellation of Briars Creek, and then it was the cancellation of our entire season. I mean, as a senior, it's just hard to imagine, you know, you're not going to play at Big Ten. Like, you're not going to have the chance to go to nationals or even regionals. Um, I mean, it was a very sad moment for all of us, not just the seniors, because we were doing so well and have our season end. You know, it's it's not ideal. <laughs> it's difficult to have that news and it's kind of a sudden shock for everybody in the sporting world and really worldwide with this pandemic going around. But what was that moment like when you were able to embrace what the other seniors around you, embrace what the other teammates around you and coaches and so on and so forth? At the beginning, it was mostly shock. Like we just did not believe it. I mean, I remember I was on a phone call with actually um, my other co-senior and we were just explaining how, we were like, how, how is this happening? I mean, we were thinking like, are we in an apocalypse right now? Like, it's just so unreal. Um, in the beginning, it was just shock and we were just, we just couldn't believe it. But at the end, I mean, definitely a couple of tears of shed and we realized, you know, we played our last collegiate golf tournament and we had no idea. I mean, I was also thinking, like, thank goodness that I scored my last hole. Because if I were to bogey my last hole, I think I would have been a little bit more disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> so coming off of that, obviously, there was a moment in time where you had to share the news with your family, your teammates, everybody around you. Uh, but I I'm curious, you being so involved with the Penn State community and everybody that that entails, you talked to some other student athletes within the Penn State family. But... Were there some text messages exchanged back and forth across the board? Because I think like you related to the sudden shock of, oh my gosh, like my collegiate season, my co collegiate career is coming to a close as a senior. And thank God that you did par the last hole instead of the bogey. But were, yeah. were there some text messages exchanged back and forth amongst other sports? Oh, for sure. I mean, a lot of my friends were actually on the tennis team and the cross team. And so we were all discussing, you know, what has happened and again they were all in shock too especially in the very beginning I mean we all didn't believe it at the time like we were hoping for like maybe because they made the decision so quick within three hours that maybe in another three hours that they'll bring big tents again and just cancel you know a few tournaments or matches you know but that call never came <laughs> How, have you, how do you think you've coped with some of that disappointment, the frustration? Uh, I was talking to Andy Katz of NCAA.com for mm -hmm. the men's basketball side of things, and he was mm -hmm. referencing the fact that there's like these different stages of coping mechanisms. So first it's frustration, then it's disbelief and shock and everything that you've mentioned. How do you yeah. think you've kind of coped with some of the rest of your teammates through this process? I think honestly for me is I just kept staying busy. Mm -hmm. You know, right before the golf course is closed, like I... You know, I play the Penn State golf courses like every day. You know, I kind of spent my time there. I actually stayed at Penn State a little bit longer than everyone else. I probably stayed there for a little over a week before they canceled classes. Um, I hiked Mount Nittany. You know, I did all the things that um, I kind of missed out on when, you know, competing. And um, I tried to go to like the tavern again, but that kind of closed. But I kind of like had my own little experience right before I left. And, I try to give myself closure and um, I think that's definitely helped me a lot and you know talking to my parents and talking to like my friends and other seniors who are going through this definitely helps as well you know because we're all going through this so why not um, help each other out. What are you going to remember most about your time in Happy Valley and being able to wear that Penn State logo with pride across your chest for really the remainder of your lifetime, whether that's walking through an airport and somebody saying, hey, we are, or, or walking through a supermarket, <laughs> whatever it is. What do you take pride in wearing that logo? I mean, it's such an honor to wear that blue and white logo. I mean, we were in Ireland and we ran into like so many Penn Staters, like in Ireland, like who would have known wow. that there'd be alumni out there? 
um, you know, running through airports, trying to make flights, everyone's laughing at us, screaming, we are, and like you said, it's, it's truly an experience that, you know, everyone should be able to experience, but it's an honor. What comes next for you over the course of the next couple of weeks and then really the golf side of things throughout the rest mm -hmm. of your career? So actually, I have an offer from Vanguard um, that I'm thinking about taking, but because of the new eligibility, I'm also thinking about taking my fifth year. Um, I've been talking to my coach and I've been talking um, to like my family, my peers, and you know, we're definitely leading towards um, continuing my career here at Penn State. Uh, so hopefully everything works out. I'd be getting my master's in corporate finance. Um, but yeah, I definitely would want to see how I do. Um, if I have this extra year, I'd love to compete, so why not continue my golf career? Megan, continued success to you and looking forward to whatever your decision is and following your career as you move along in Penn State and uh, life after that, all right? Thank you so much.